go to the next use case but please practice that once and give me the answers for a less than one for sure now let's take one more utility function and this is a simple one this is called max utility function so we have seen max coming here in the composite utility functions also but what is a max utility function all about so let's say that there are two goods. Maybe let's take the example of milk and beer. These are two goods which I want to go ahead and get positive utility from. So the utility from milk is positive and the utility from beer is also positive. So they are positive goods for me. I get positive utility out of them. But the point is that I cannot consume them together. So those goods which I cannot consume together, but individually they give me positive utility, that is called a max function. That is represented by a max function. So please understand the difference. Here it's not that the utility is not positive. The only thing is that they cannot be consumed together. So now my aim is to maximize my utility. First of all, how do I plot these functions? So to plot max function, I go ahead and I plot something like this. This is good x. This is good y. This is how a max function looks like. Now just look here. What am I saying? I am saying this is maybe I have four units. Maybe let's say this is milk and let's say that this is beer. I am saying whether you give me four beer and four milk or only four milk and zero beer or only zero milk and four beer, both of all three points give me the same utility. And the reason is that you know here this four comma four is of no use to me because at any point of time i can either consume this or this i cannot consume both so because i cannot consume the two things together whether x is equal to y or only x or only y gives me the same utility so the question that then arises in this case is which good to consume? Should I consume good X or should I consume good Y? And the answer is that it depends on the prices, of course. So if you tell me that price of good X is less than price of good Y, then I will consume only good X. Because from the same income, I can buy more. So supposedly I tell you that milk is 50 per liter. And I tell you that beer is maybe let's say 60 per liter. And income is maybe 400. Or let's say 600. And I ask you, which good will you consume? Because you get positive utility from both you will consume the good which is cheaper and you cannot consume the two together. That is what this function says. So in this case, I will say, okay, let's consume all of milk. So my X star will be M by PX and my Y star would be zero. Now let's take the reverse way. So if PX is greater than PY, then in that case, I will only consume good Y. So Y star will be M by PY and my X star will be zero. Now, can you tell me 
what happens when Px is equal to Py? If the price of the two things are equal to each other, then what do you do? Which good will you consume? Or will you con consume any combination of the two goods? So if Px is equal to Py, either you will consume only good x or you will consume only good y, but not both, not a combination. So it is very, very safe to say that this acts like a substitute good. This, this is very similar to how substitute good equilibrium was coming. With the only difference that when prices were equal for tea and coffee, I was consuming partial tea and partial coffee. That was one thing that I could do. But here in this case, if prices are equal to each other, then I cannot do that. Then I will consume either milk or wine, but not both. So that's the only difference that you have in this case. And then once you know Marshallian, you can always find Hicksian. I mean, that's very similar to the substitute good case because I'm forming exactly the same equations that I formed in substitute goods. So you can go ahead and write that the max function is very similar to substitute goods with the only difference that when Px is equal to Py, we either consume all of x or all of y but not both. That's the only difference that we have. Otherwise, they're very similar to each other. Now, you know, a lot of people confuse the max function with the concave utility function. The two are very different with each other. So, for example, 